Welcome to Tanya 23 Breaking News Channel. This is a gruesome story about the Marion kidnap victim. They made me do things no normal person should do. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office presented a disturbing video as evidence in the trial of two men accused of kidnapping and assaulting another local man over a two-week period in March 2022. Timothy L. Smith, 37, and Landon M. Blair, 26, were charged with one count of kidnapping, a first-degree felony, felonious assault, a second-degree felony, and abduction, a third-degree felony, for allegedly holding Zachary M. Wilson, 29, Marion, against his will at a residence in the 100 block of Ladderet Street from March 1st to 14th, 2022. Wilson is incarcerated at the Multi-County Correctional Center in Marion after being arrested and charged with violation of a protection order. The trial for Smith and Blair moved into its second day Wednesday with the prosecution showing a video that allegedly shows Wilson being forced to perform a sex act on a dog at the Ladderet Street house where he was allegedly being held against his will. Wilson also testified that Smith and Blair allegedly burned his face and arms with a heated knife blade, struck him in the head and ribs with ball bats, kicked and punched him in the head and elsewhere on his body, and tied him to a chair with an electrical cord. They made me do things that no normal person should do, Wilson told Marion County Assistant Prosecutor John Scott during testimony presented Wednesday. Attorneys question alleged victim about recollection of events. Wilson testified Blair recorded the video that was shown in court on Wednesday. It showed an individual, whom Wilson identified as Smith, struck and berated Wilson during the incident. Wilson also noted he did not want to testify for fear of having to recall painful memories from March 2022. Attorneys Jack Van Bibber, who was representing Smith, and John Doyle, who was representing Blair, highlighted Wilson's admitted addiction to methamphetamines in their cross-examination. They questioned whether his recollection of the events of March 1st to 14th, 2022, was accurate due to the fact he admitted that at times his drug use could cause gaps in his memory. Wilson admitted to being somewhat confused about the events that occurred during that time period. Van Bibber and Doyle also questioned why Wilson did not just leave the residence on Ladderette Street when he had the chance to do so on at least three occasions by his own admission. Wilson stated he was fearful for his safety and the safety of his brother and great-grandmother if he left. His great-grandmother also lives on Ladderette Street, not far from where he was allegedly held against his will. Medical issue interrupts Wednesday's trial. In addition to drug addiction, Wilson said he suffers from type 1 diabetes, congestive heart failure and kidney failure. He has been hospitalized several times, including last week, due to complications related to diabetes. His vision is severely impaired due to diabetes, he said. During Wednesday's proceedings, Wilson suffered an episode of low blood sugar and Judge Warren T. Edwards granted a recess for him to get something to eat and drink. Officer Gavin Sheff of the Marion Police Department also testified Wednesday. He was one of the officers who was dispatched to Wilson's great-grandmother's house March 14, 2022, after someone there called 911 to report Wilson had shown up there with various injuries. Chef answered a series of questions from both the prosecution and the defense about what he observed about Wilson's condition that day. He took photos of Wilson in the emergency room at Ohio Health Marion General Hospital. The trial was scheduled to continue Thursday in Marion County Common Police Court. The prosecution was expected to wrap up its case Thursday and the defense was scheduled to present its case. Thank you for tuning into Breaking News with Tanya23. Stay tuned to more current events and follow up on events. Send your videos and stories to houseyoftonia23 at gmail.com.